Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're joining me for the first time, my name is Chef Fran. But first, give me a virtual hug by hitting the subscribe button. And in return, I will give you a new recipe every week. We're making our lemon fried chicken today. Okay, our chicken's already been cleaned with some acid, which is just some lemon juice. Then I rinse it off, pat it dry. It is now soaking in our buttermilk and we have seasoned our chicken with this seasoning here that I'm gonna add to our flour. And we over-seasoned our chicken because the buttermilk will absorb most of the seasoning. So we also want to season our flour. So here we go. And all the measurements and ingredients will be listed for you. Adding some Montreal chicken seasoning to our flour here. Some garlic powder some onion powder, the staples to cooking right away, onion powder, garlic powder, just some little Cajun seasoning here, I have some lemon pepper, Mrs. Dash salt free seasoning in here, a little bit of smoked paprika, black pepper, okay, I'm just going to mix my flour with my fingers, if your flour doesn't look like it has some color in it, that means it has no real seasoning. I'm gonna grab my buttermilk piece in here. I'm gonna shake it off. And actually, I'm gonna teach you a little trick. Put some of your buttermilk in here, in your flour. And it helps your chicken to become crispy. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Just shake off the excess. Go to it's usually wet and dry. So here we go. Some dry here. Then we're gonna put it in some egg. And then back into the buttermilk. So here we are, wet. Well, I'll take this wet one here. Okay. okay. Make sure that you check your oil. Your oil should be at 350 or above. Now I'm gonna do an exchange here. So we double dipped our chicken and I'm allowing it to rest. So then I could fry it. So it was soaked in buttermilk and then it went into a flour, seasoned flour coating, into an egg and then back into the seasoned flour coating allowed it to rest here and then now I'm going to fry it and you don't want to crowd your chicken so I have three pieces in here now so our chicken is all fried up I'm just gonna garnish it with a little bit of Parmigiana Reggiano I have a butter lemon parsley little shindig here. Um, I put some lemon zest in it. So kind of have that here. Kind of going on. And 
I'm going to top it with a slice of lemon. Okay. There we go. Look what we have here. We have a lemon fried chicken with what? Or orzo rinds. We have lemon orzo. So we, you are a resident taste tester and you're gonna let us know how it tastes. Oh, let's see. Okay. I hear that crunch in the chicken. Double fried chicken. So, very crispy as she said, you know. Mm. I actually like that part the most, but it also reminds me of like a salmon, like a blackened or like grilled salmon and the way that it tastes with the lemon, but it also has like its own unique flavor, so. I think it's really good. Okay, so here's the funny thing with me. I, you know, everyone's crazy about lemon pepper, lemon pepper, lemon black pepper. I've never been a huge fan of it, but I have to tell you, in doing this lemon orzo, I really like the re nice, refreshing taste on my palate. This orzo is made with, you know, a little bit of the pasta water, but it has some zested lemon in it. And it has a little chicken um, bouillon, um, some black pepper. What else, Gio, does it have in it? Mm. Um, some butter. Some butter and some grated fresh Parmigiano Reggiano. And it is absolutely divine. Now I'm going to try the chicken. Not just chicken. Ooh, you hear that crunch? With soaked in buttermilk. How's the chicken, Gia? Very good. Get some of that crunch. And along with mm. the rice, too, they just blend very well with the soft and crunchy from the chicken and the rice. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is actually divine with this nice freshness. The chicken is nice and tender from being in the buttermilk. And you get that crunch from the double dipping of the frying. Mmm really enjoyable to cook your orzo just follow the box of instructions to be al dente and all the ingredients like i said the measurements will be below for you thank you for hanging out with us today eating our lemon fried chicken with our lemon orzo and we ask you to come back again and hang out with us in our next video we love you and we'll see you soon.